all that. And literally, if you could get the material in the configuration you wanted it, there was a way to weld it together. Today, skyscrapers come in many shapes and sizes, in large part because continuous beams can be fabricated and welded into curves and unique angles. To construct these beams, welders will make 30 to 40 passes on the crucial joints using Lincoln Electric's latest flux core welding technology. Here, the traditional stick electrode has been replaced by wire on a roll that feeds directly into the welder's gun. The chemical flux that protects the weld from the air is now contained within the wire itself and melts just as before. There's approximately 90 tons of weld wire will be used and consumed in this project alone. That's somewhere around 180 million inches or 2,800 miles of weld wire. You could stretch a single wire from LA to New York and have leftover. On the largest beams, which can weigh as much as 900 pounds per linear foot, a team of welders can work on a single weld for hours. The columns that we're looking at right now are basically supporting the entire east wing of this tower. Originally, these pieces were so long, the capacity of the cranes would not pick them up and set them. So we had to cut them down, make them lighter, so the crane could set them. And the engineers wouldn't allow us to make that a bolted splice. It had to become a welded splice. It's about a 30-hour weld. I believe we had two guys working on that simultaneously for 30 hours of welding. Welding really enabled the architect, the engineer, to dream bigger dreams, make bigger bridges, make taller skyscrapers, and to do so in a reliable and dependable way. But at the end of the day, those big dreams are only as solid as the iron workers who weld them together. We're not presidents. We don't get monuments built to us. But when you look across the skyline, iron workers have changed the way that looks. But electric arcs aren't the only way to make a weld. In fact, others are a real blast. In fact, others are a real blast. In December 2006, 27 megasteel columns were arc welded together to anchor New York's Freedom Tower at the former site of the World Trade Center. Each column stands more than five stories tall and weighs as much as 30 tons. Welding will return on Modern Marvels.